I am Anil Kumar and here is solution of question number 8 from my unit test 2 paper. The question is determine the equation of both lines that are tangent to the graph of y equals to x square and also pass through the point 4, 6. Now at 4 the value is 6 this is an external point. So in this particular question we are working with external point right so that is an external point. So through this external point on the curve y equals to x square, we could actually have two tangents, right? Therefore, the question is, determine the equation of both lines that are tangent to the graph of y equals to x square. Now that is an external point from where we have we can have two tangents to y equals to x square. But we don't know what point on the function we're talking about, right? So what we'll say is let the point be a. So if x value is a, so we say let the point on y equals to x square be a. If x value is a, then y value will be a square, correct? So at that point, we'll find the slope of the tangent line. So we say slope of tangent line, so slope m at x equals to a is what? So what we are so we'll say y dash, right? So y dash gives us a slope. For x square, that'll be 2x. Now y dash at x equals to a will be 2a, correct? So 2a is the slope of tangent line at a point a on this particular function. But since this tangent line also passes through the point 4 and 6, we can also say that the slope m between the points, uh, so we'll find slope m between two points, uh, that is where one point is 4, 6 given to us, which is this point, and the other point we'll call that as q for the time being, as a and a square, right? So what is the slope between these two points? We can say that the slope is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 right so in this case y2 let us say is a square so a square minus 6 divided by a minus 4 so that becomes the slope of any tangent line from point 4 6 to a general point on the function right so this is the concept now we know this slope should be equal to 2a for the same tangent line right so equate the slope. So we have 2a equals to a square minus 6 divided by a minus 4. So let's cross multiply. We have 2a times a minus 4 equals to a square minus 6. That is 2a square minus 8a. We we'll bring all the terms together minus a square plus 6 equals to 0. So 2a square minus a square is a square, so we have a square minus 8a plus 6 equals to 0. So that is how we can get a quadratic equation and solving this quadratic equation we can get the value of a, right? So we are looking for two numbers whose product is 6 and sum is 8, which is not easy to get, right? 6 and 1 is 6, 2 and 3 is 6, but they don't add to 8. So we can use the quadratic formula here, right? So we'll use the quadratic formula and find the value of a. Using quadratic formula, we get a equals to minus b, which is 8, plus minus b square, which is 64, minus 4ac, 4 times 6 is 24, square root divided by 2 times, this is 1, so 2. So that gives us 8 plus minus square root of 64 minus 24 is 40 over 2 and that is 8 plus minus 40 could be written as 5 8 times I mean si uh, 16 times 5 right uh, 40 could be written as 8 times so 40 square root we could write this as uh, 4 times 10 so that could be one thing so 4 is 2 square root so we get 2 square root 10 okay divided by 2 that can help us right so we get 4 plus minus square root of 10. So the two points are where the value of a is 4 plus 10 
or it is 4 minus 10. Do you see that? So we get two values of a. So a is equals to either 4 plus square root of 10 or it is equals to 4 minus square root of 10. Correct? So, so now what we can do is we can find the slope at these two points. We know that the slope is 2 times the value of a. So we have two different equations. One at point, so we'll say, uh, so we'll consider the first point as a, so we have a is 4 plus square root of 10 and uh, so we have m1, let us say first line, we are taking the point as 4 plus square root 10. So it will be 2 times 4 plus square root 10 or it will be 8 plus square root of, I mean, 2 times 10. That is the slope, right? So 2, 2, 10, right? That is the first slope and the point will be y value 4, x value is 4 square root 10, 4 plus square root 10 and uh, plus 10, I mean square root of 2 square root of 10 whole square right so I think what you should do is you can find approximate decimal value rather than getting into these complications so I brought the calculator now so we have 4 plus square root of 10 which is equal to 7.16 so one value for us is let me write here as 7.16 the other one is 4 minus square root of 10 which is 0. Point, let's say it 4 right so these are the two x values now if these are the x values what are the y values let's calculate them also so if I use you know well let me square this so if I use 0. 0.7 right so I'll write this as uh, so one point here is uh, 0. 0.84 and square of that is 0. 0.7 let's say that so that is one point. The other point is 716. So this is 7.16 square equals to 51. So the other point is 7.16 and square of that is 51 point, let us say 3. So let us say approximately these are the two points on y equals to x square where we have the tangent from external point. Now we need to, so let's forget about these values is better to do with decimals. It's too complicated here, right? So you can now find equation of the, the tangent line. So for the first point, the slope will be what? For this point, the slope m will be equals to 2 times the a value, right? The x value. So we'll do 7.16 times 2. That will give us 14.32 as the slope. For the first point, and this given point. For the second it is 0.84 times 2 which is slope is 1.68. Now you know the slope and the point so you can always find the equation of the line. So for the first line let's say first tangent right line 1 we have y minus y1 so y minus y1 is 51.3 equals to slope 14.32 times x minus x1, 7.16 minus x, correct? So that is the equation of first line. You can rearrange and write your answer. And for the second line, let me write here, let me write here, y minus y value 0 0.7, right, equals to slope of 1.68, 1.68 times the x value x value is uh, we should write x minus uh, x value 0 0.84 0 0.84 correct so well the order should be same I wrote wrong order here so so if I write y minus I should have written x minus so I'll write this minus this plus okay so these are the two equations which you can rearrange and write down the final answer uh, well, so, so you could do that also, right? So I'd like you to do these calculations. We have y, so we have y minus 51.3 equals to 14.32 times 7.16. 
equals to 102.53 so it is minus 102.5 and then we have plus 14.32 right x correct so writing it all on one side will give us 14.32x and then we have the y value y which is bringing it here minus y making this term here so we have we can write minus 102 and then we'll add 51 so 102.5 plus 51.3 and that gives us 153.8 right so m minus 150 no it should be negative so so it is uh, minus 10 I'm sorry it is minus 102.5 plus 51.3 that gives you minus 51.2 so it is minus 51.2 equals to 0 so this is your first equation the second equation you could write from here which is y minus 0 0.7 so we have 1.68 x will bring y on this side minus y and let's multiply 1.68 by 0.84 so that is 1.4 and that is negative 1.4 and we'll add 0 0.7 equals to 0 so which is 1.68 x minus y and that is 0 0.7 minus 0 0.7 equals to 0 so well you may work on these equations but I think you got the steps to do the equation right so what we do here is we find general equation by finding the derivative and then take a point a square and find slope between these two points equate the two slopes to find the point itself now in this particular case it was too complicated we got kind of that number so it's easier to do it in decimals and then continue and we use the formula you could find equation line using either we you could use y equals to mx plus b or points y minus y1 equals to m times x minus x1 right either way so we use that formula to find the equation you could find equation in any of these forms i hope that helps thank you